In the last video, I showed you how to scan your data and put it into Purview. Today, I'm going to show you how to create business domains. And business domain are these logical groupings of something in your organization. It depends on how you want to set it up. What you do inside of Microsoft Purview is that you go to the data catalog, you open that up, go to data management, open up business domains, and then you're ready to click create new business domain. So that's what you want to do. And then you give it a good name. You give it a great description, something that makes a lot of sense. And then this is the cool part. You can actually choose what type of business domain this is. It also gives you a bit of flexibility because how you organize this in your organization, that's different for everyone, right? So you choose the one that makes most sense. And then you can also choose a parent. Um, so you can, for instance, have a functional domain and then multiple data domains below that one. There are so many opportunities. Now look at this, we have created our business domain and now we can set some policies. So click on manage policies up there and now you can link to existing access policies, for instance, that you have already created. This is gonna be relevant for also when you set up the data access for the data products that I'm gonna show you in the next video. And then you also can set the roles. Do you want everyone to see the data quality, uh, for instance? Do you want to have some sort of specific access control? And you can also map uh, your collections that we also created in the previous video to your business domain. Now, everything is perfect. You're ready to publish your domain. We don't actually have any data here. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. But let's pretend that we do and we want to actually publish this domain. We click publish. And then if you go to data product search, you can now see that operations is a domain that people can click into. And now we're ready to, to create some data products. So I'm going to show you that in the next video.